Good morning, people, and how's it going? Today, it's tire rotation day. So, also, I'm going to take advantage and see how much I can cut off of these center caps. You know, I like to do little custom touches to just make the truck my own, or any vehicle for that matter. Um, I've done this before on a Jeep XJ I used to have. Um, I showed you in one of my videos, I can't remember which one it was, but on cutting down the center caps to make your, well, if you have spike lug nuts, to make those more prominent. So today I got to do a tire rotation on my truck and I'm also going to take advantage of uh, this and see how much I can cut off of those center caps to get them tucked back into the wheel just a little bit more. So I'm going to get these tires off and start getting those rotated and also check that out. So I'll grab my impact and my, I've already got my socket out. I just got to get my impact and a little drink of coffee here. And we'll get those uh, tires off and get started. As you can see, that sticks out just a little bit further than what the front does. See, I could cut almost all the front off, but uh, the back, the back we gotta pay just a little bit more attention to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab actually the center cap that's missing uh, the center cap here because these method center caps are a two-piece. Um, looks like this one was probably painted at one time. Um, and we're going to uh, probably not use this one because I did purchase another one. So we're gonna use this one to see how much we can cut off. So let's grab a tape measure here. And check this out. So I'll slide that on there like that because that's where it's going to sit on the hub itself. And I can't cut very much off at all, if any. I don't know that this is going to work for this. So if you can see, there is not a whole lot of room there at all. I may be able to cut a half inch off and I, I just don't know that that's worth it to me. Um, I was hoping I could cut a lot more off than that and be able to uh, really showcase those. But, you know, nevertheless, we may end up doing it anyway. Um, I was trying to hope and to achieve maybe you know something along that lines get those in there like that and then have those spike lug nuts sticking out see about that far but with these rear hubs it's just not gonna be very much at all if you can look down inside there you can see how that plastic outer cap clips on this inner cap so I even got I even got got really I even have to pay attention to uh, to that also and it just I don't think it's going to work in my favor for this application because right now I have about five eighths of an inch plus, was it a little close? Uh, I've got about five eighths of an inch plus uh, I have to take into account 
the clip inside there. So I would only be cutting off a half an inch. Yeah, I could only cut off a half an inch. But I am going to show you, um, since I have this junk cap here, you know, it is something... It is something that you guys can do at home. So I will go through the process and show you on this one cap here how to do it. That way, if you guys are able to, especially on the Jeeps, what I'd done this on was the Jeep XJ. Um, I was running the, uh, the D window wheels on it, just the Steelys. Um, and I was able to cut like, th uh, probably not three inches. I was able to cut that down and only having about an inch stick out. I don't think, I, I have some old pictures of that Jeep, but the pictures are far away. If I can zoom in enough, I'll put a picture on this video so you guys can see what I've done. All right, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna kind of simulate <clears throat> what can be done if you're able to. Um, like I said, I, I may do it later on, I really don't know, but, <clears throat> On my center caps, I'd only be able to cut about a half inch off, so I don't believe I'm going to do it at this point in time. So, what I did on my Jeep that I had is you, you got the center cap here. Um, I wrapped tape around it. You don't have to wrap tape around it, but I use that to be able to have a surface to mark on. And I just wrapped tape around this whole edge. just so you have something to mark on. So you have your tape on there like that. Um, now I've misplaced my tape measure. Oh, found it. I left it lay out there by my truck. So we'll grab that and we'll go back in here. <coughs> and say, say you can cut off, I don't know, say you can cut off We'll see what we have here. Say you can cut off an inch and a half. So I'm going to use this back edge. Either edge is nice and straight. So you're going to be cutting it off this side. Um, primarily, um, if I if I do this, I like to use a hose clamp, but I don't have any hose clamps. I'd use my last one. So if you have you're going to be cutting an inch and a half off of it. So you just go to your half inch mark or your inch and a half mark and, and just mark it. You know how to do that. You'll have that mark there. And then I'm going to go another because I'm going to put two marks on there. I want just about probably an eighth inch. So I'm going to mark it at inch and a half and inch and five eighths. Now what this inch and five eighths mark is I'm going to actually going to cut it off here, but I'm going to have a ring here because I'm going to go along through here and cut a bunch of relief cuts down to that mark all the way around. <clears throat> just to be able, and I'll show you that here in just a minute. So since I don't have a hose clamp, primarily I'll take a hose clamp and put on there and tighten it up and that'll give me a nice even edge to draw around but since i don't have that i gotta do this i gotta go around through here and put a bunch of marks on here at an inch and a half an inch and five eighths and if you guys have another suggestion on how to do this let me tell you i'm open to suggestions because i gotta go through and then i gotta do that and the circumference of this is probably just about you know well let's just find out 10 inches or more that's six 16 inches so you know I got to do that 16 inches around <clears throat> all the way around okay you can see what I did this is just a reference a reference line right here so I wrapped I marked all my spots and then I wrapped electrical tape around there and that's actually going to be my cut line. So go grab my cut off tool.
after I get a sip of coffee. Uh, what I'm going to use, I got a, a right angle cutoff tool. I'm just going to use the, oh, whoops, go back over and grab some of these. Because we're all about safety. Go grab my hose. And basically all we're going to do, we're just going to take this and we're going to cut right along that line. Okay, that part's trash. Okay, I have wrapped another section of tape around that edge because, yeah, it's just a reference line to let you know how deep to cut. But it is pretty crucial too. You want that as straight as possible. Because, I mean, it may not be very noticeable, but you want that to sit up against that hub um, as straight as possible. So now, after you have these two pieces separated, this is junk now, you want to take your cutoff tool and go down through there and cut just down to that line all the way around about every quarter to a half inch. So we'll get started doing that now. All right, now after you've done that, <clears throat> basically all you have left to do is come over, you need a hard surface like your a vice or something like that, and you just start peening everything over until that's flat to get that returned edge. At this time, you can also peel that off because, as you can see, these will need repainted. Whether they're most of these are steel, so you're go you're gonna have to repaint them when you're done. You just keep working it around until you get all them tab, all them little tabs bent over. So what you have when you're done is that edge there, just like that. So if you take that over here and slide this in the back of the wheel, like so, basically you've recreated that edge to hold that center cap in place. So. And then you have, if you could envision, I don't think any of my, here, this one's loose. I'm gonna have to pop some silicone on it before I put it back on. So you can see the difference there, what I'm talking about. Actually, we'll take this back out. And go over here to the bench. That's a factory center cap. And then there's the center cap that I just cut off and recreated that flange. So it's a little bit of a lengthy process. Um, especially if you have to do all four wheels, um, which obviously you do. But, you know, for my application, I, I'm just not going to be able to get it done. Um, just, uh, I don't know, it's worth going through all that work for just a half inch. But, hey, I had to rotate my tires anyway because of my last oil change. Um, I was due. Um, when you're rotating them, it also gives you the ability to inspect your brakes. 
make sure everything's good there which my back ones inside pads look like um, they're pretty low so looks like I'm gonna be doing a brake job here pretty soon <laughs> oh front ones look really good so anyway guys once again I appreciate you watching not a very exciting video but hopefully some of you guys can pick up on that and you know you know use it in your application so guys i appreciate you watching have a great day don't forget to subscribe and like comment too if you wish i read all of them the guys that have commented i get back to you as soon as i can you know that guys have a great rest of your sunday and we'll talk to you later on Bye bye